Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God. As we look around the beauty of this world, we see his hand at work everywhere, and especially in our lives. Praise God for that. A word of encouragement comes from 1 Peter chapter 1, starting at verse 3. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade, kept in heaven for you. What an awesome thought as we read these words. God not only created us the first time, God not only created us and made us into our being and, and gave us all of our kind of personalities and stuff, but God also creates us a second time as a new creation. He, he, he transforms us, if you will, into a new creation, that the sins of the past, that, that the deeds of the past, that the way that we used to be can be put aside, that we might be restored to him. And because of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, uh, we now can be forgiven, restored, and given an eternal life, an eternal inheritance, uh, an inheritance that can never perish or spoil their fate. You know, this side of heaven, nothing is secure. Nothing is known. I mean, we think we know. We, 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 we maybe put faith a little bit in our stock market and our retirement and our funds that we have, and yet we don't have to go that far back, and, you know, just under 100 years till the smart stock market crashed and regular families were were destitute and struggling with the, you know, back uh, in Oklahoma and those type of places with the Great Dust Bowl and, and, and our, you know, our economy just fell. There's no guarantee in that. Even with our homes or, or the plans that we have as, as a free America, sometimes those are questionable whether or not they'll last. Because they're all driven by man. And they're driven by man's desires. And man's desires often have to do with power and money and all these things. And certainly we hope those things will always be there, but there's not security. But in heaven, there is security. In heaven, we've been promised that, that God is setting up an inheritance for us. An inheritance that isn't going to change. That isn't going to spoil or fade or, or go away. When we know Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we are destined, if you will, for the kingdom. We are on a path for the kingdom of heaven. And although we want to make the most of this world and the opportunities God gives us here, we can be secure knowing that no matter what happens here, God's going to take us home when our time here is done. Praise God for that. We have good news. The good news is it doesn't end after this life. The good news is if we, if we stand up and even lose our life for the name of Jesus, that we are going to be in heaven with him someday. One of the reasons the Apostle Paul, I think, is so excited about sharing the word all the time and, and doesn't mind going to jail and doesn't mind talking about suffering is because he knows his destination. He had that drive within him, if you will, that, that two-pulled side where in one half he wanted to have this, this world to and get to heaven and be with God and, and be in the perfected state. On the other hand, he wanted to be here and do as much as he could for the kingdom before he left. That's where we should be as well. I want to encourage you, be excited about your destiny. Be excited about the fact that your inheritance is there and secure forever. The only way that we can walk away from our inheritance is exactly that, is to walk away. It will never be taken from us. It will be something that we choose to give up. And what, what a sad, uh, lowly day that would be. But for those who keep their faith in Jesus, it can never be taken away. And Paul was excited about it, and we should be excited about it. And we should want to share with others in the same vein. I want to encourage you to get out there and share your faith. Get out there and share what God has done for you. Get out there and share that God loves you and loves the people that you're coming in contact with. Let's make today a great day, not because of what we do for ourselves, but we're able to do for others, or God is able to do through us for others, really, is the more way better said. We simply have to be open to be obedient, to give our lives over for him, to, to do it his way, and God will bring the glory. Praise God for that. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord, for the secure salvation we have. Thank you for the new creation that you make us into be, that, that we are not bound by the sins or the actions of the past. Although we are certainly changed by them and molded by them, you could change us into the being that you now want to use us to be. Lord, would you use us today to love other people, to reach out to other people, to put our arms around them, if you will, and, and love them into the kingdom. Father, not because of who we are, but because of who you are in us. Father, may you use our lives and our words and our, our tongue and, and all that we are that others might see you and, and you might be praised. Father, we just thank you for the blessed opportunities you have today, uh, we have today and each day this week. Father, we just pray for the opportunity to, to share with people the good news and the opportunity to lead someone in a saving prayer. Father, thank you for all that you're about to do. Please bless those who need a special blessing. 
So many with physical needs or mental needs or emotional needs, um, even financial needs, certainly spiritual needs. Whatever the case, would you touch each person in a way that draws them to you and you get all the glory. Father, we thank you for this day and each day this week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, there you have it. My helper wants to speak up uh, as you're here in the background. But just know that we love you today and we're praying for you today. And we want you to have an amazing day. And hopefully you'll join us again tomorrow. God bless you.